again there, friends and fans. The whole world craves oil. Raptor here. Speaking of cravings, I'm craving some Timmy's there, bud. Woo! A gigantic industrial project is supposed to satisfy that appetite. And so can Timmy's with the biggest Mining trucks in the world. for oil along the Athabasca River. Look at those big-ass dump trucks. That is awesome. Hi, everybody. You're Welcome back. Site, managing the fortunes of a local company with Lots the goal of, of constantly improving everything. In the process, you bear a major responsibility for human beings and the environment. What about profits, though? We have to put profits and first. And for the well-being of the Canadian economy. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All One right. of the largest deposits of oil on the entire planet lies dormant beneath Alberta's coniferous forests. The resource is stored in the ground as a sticky mixture of tar and sand called bitumen. It has to be extracted first via strip mining and then processed into synthetic crude oil. Until recently, this was much too expensive. But dwindling oil reserves worldwide and rising prices are suddenly making the process profitable. Your company is going to invest in the future of energy here All right. and in the future of countless people. Deliver the necessary equipment and get everything ready to mine the tar sands for oil. 10-4, ma'am. All right, good. Welcome to Canada, everybody. We are up here by Edmonton there, bud, and we are going to uh, start making some good profits by harvesting all that wonderful oil. If you guys are excited to see the final mission coming up tomorrow for this game, make sure you click tap, destroy that like button. Hopefully we continue to see a lot of support around this series. This, this game has been quite good. I uh, looked it up. It actually features more missions and uh, I'd say much more interesting missions than the original game. So a real good step forward in the right direction. We're going to continue on by building our highway all the way to uh, the fort over here. Wow, we, we can build a bridge too. We're going to start a trucking company, and I'd imagine we probably will also uh, have a rail line at some point to ship all this oil out once it's uh, turned into oil from the oil sand. So it looks like we've got a plastic factory and a machine shop there. We need to transport machines through Fort McMurray over to this section. So let's get started then. We're probably also going to have to transport uh, passengers and other goods here too. So we might need to build a big, big station. So if we do that, I think it might be a good idea to just put it right here. Some good flat land for us to build on. So we'll get started by putting down a truck depot. And then also, uh, let's go ahead and configure it to also be a passenger terminal too. So we'll make a little area there for passengers to be dropped off. And that should be just fine. Let's also extend for additional cargo. And there we go, that should be good. It's going to be a kind of a tight area, but we should be able to uh, modify it if we need to to have a different exit or something along those lines. Okay, we also need to buy ourselves a vehicle depot, so we'll get that cracking too. I'm assuming at some point we're going to have to deliver to this plastics factory. We'll also need to deliver machines, so let's do that. So, boom. I guess I could have done one, but sometimes it's better to make these separate because it's just a little better for not getting a backup of vehicles. Too many vehicles in one place can be a bad time. There we go. We'll go ahead and build that like this. Excellent. I'm assuming we also will need to deliver something to the town at some point. It looks like Fort McMurray also requires fuel, so we'll go ahead and make a truck stop for fuel, food, and goods. And let's also make ourselves a depot, too. I'm getting at, uh, kind of the feel of what the developers will throw at us, though. There's always sometimes a... Uh, you know, a random thing that comes at us. So I think we're ready to go with some new trucks too. We have access to the Cascadia trucks. Awesome. All right, we need to just transport 10 machines, but we keep making money so long as we transport these machines. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with eight road vehicles. Uh, I guess seven will be fine, that's all right. So let's go ahead and connect the line from the machine shop over to the big O mining area. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and start naming these too, I guess, for this time around. We'll go ahead and call this one machine route. There we are. And let's go ahead and start those trucks a rolling on line one. Road vehicles one through seven onto the machine route to the dig site. All right, so they should shortly deliver the one th or the 10. We also need to uproot 1,317 uh, trees. And it looks like there's a problem with the uh, route here. Did I, is there a road disconnected or something? Let's see here. What is the issue? Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I know why. It's actually just stopping at the wrong uh, section, so we just need to make it go to area number two. Uh, that's weird. Shouldn't they be able to go here? Let me uh, try that again. Maybe it needs to click on this truck symbol. Oh, there we go. You can't change it once you're inside. Oh, well, that'd be interesting if I could change it through the configure model, but all right, that's fine. Look at some of these huge trucks. 
They're delivering oil sands like crazy. So now also we have to delete some trees in those dig sites. So let's get that started. And uh, we'll delete a bunch of this land. It's cool to be up here in Canada finally and to be working in more modern times. Let's make that uh, brush a lot bigger. There we go. All right, so we need to remove a ton of trees. I guess we can't have a single tree inside these uh, blue areas. I hope we get a chance to replant some of these trees. That'd be a good idea. All right, area one is done. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can with the forest, but also comply with our uh, goals, I guess, as a corporation. 420 trees now remaining. There we go, 24, 4, and we're all done. Perfect. All right, now we just wait for the trucks to come over with the machines. In the meantime, I guarantee we're gonna have to deliver oil and goods to other towns. So it's quite obvious that we're going to have to probably truck some of this oil over here and then, or possibly put it on a boat. There also seems to be wastewater disposal over here. And it looks like a river. So that might be kind of dangerous for us. Uh, maybe bad for the environment. Hmm, looks like there's also a uh, need for building materials somewhere. That might be needed at the construction sites. We'll see. So let's get all this stuff uh, hooked up as while we're waiting for the machines to get delivered. So Athabasca can go across the river here, I think. Let's see if we can build a nice concrete bridge, like right here. And let's see if we can make a nice straight bridge, or at least as straight as possible. There we go, nice concrete bridge there. Okay, perfect. So we're obviously going to have to connect a few of these uh, businesses up, no matter what. Excellent. We'll need spots for rail cars, I think, to be delivered. Edmonton also requires oil, so it might be a good idea to connect that up as well. Go. All right, so it looks like these are all connected. Now we might need an international highway to go from Fort McMurray over to Athabasca and Edmonton, but I would argue that we might be producing a lot more oil uh, than what trucks can bring effectively. So what we could do is build a train station in Fort McMurray in order to pick up all that oil that the uh, trucks are dropping off and then bring that over to the eastern or western side. Uh, let's see. Looks like we'll need to make a specific truck stop here for them. So let's go ahead and make a terminus station. Two trains with 160. Should be a good start. And we'll make a specific unloading area here for the trains. Maybe over here. We'll go parallel with the road. And then we'll build a highway if we need to as well. I haven't really dabbled in highways, but it'll make a lot of traffic between the two towns. And it could help, actually help them to grow, but I don't know if we'll be tasked with... Uh, bringing passengers back and forth. All right, is this connected? Yes, it is, okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and smooth out some of that land. The truck should be here shortly. All right, big brush here, trying to make it look a little more natural. There we go, that looks better. All right, good. Let's start with our second train station and then finalize with our line. So there's actually uh, opportunity to deliver oil here. I think that's close enough for trucks, but this area here is too far. And also there's wastewater over there, so I don't know what we're going to do about that. We'll figure that out shortly, I suppose. So if I build it here, it doesn't seem to connect to any of the factories. Oh, if I can build it right about here, we can actually connect. Well, it looks like people are actually coming through. I can't get these uh, roads to connect. It's a little too steep of a angle, so let's try to build a small street that goes down to the train station. There we go. And let's hope these connect. Alright, it'll connect to one area. We'll go ahead and have this road come up around this way too. There we go. Now hopefully that's uh, one road for main traffic. They can pass by at a higher speed. And then the second train line should supply both of these with oil. Excellent. So then we can make some tracks that come out here. Now I don't know what kind of trains we'll use, but we'll try to keep things as close to 100 kilometers at all times. There we go. Wow, this territory is quite rough. There we go. It's not, uh, not very smooth at all. Alright, trying to keep things at 100. We'll try to cut through the forest here. Let's 
There we go. It's a long distance for trucks to travel. Much easier for a train in these long, somewhat rolling hill-like uh, terrain. There we go. That's better. Let's just see if we can connect that up here. Some areas where the train is elevated. Wow. <laughs> they want to build a rail bridge there. No, thank you. All right, let's get a little closer then. We'll go across this divot here. See how close we can get before they try to build a bridge. There we go. All right, the trucks should be on their way with the machines now. Hoping we see one truck at some point. Oh, they still want to build a rail bridge here. Well, that kind of looks cool. In fact, it might allow me to build some other truck stops and such underneath. So let's build that there. And I might be able to build some more roads and stuff that go underneath. Okay, so the train is connected over here. It's obvious that we're going to have to deliver oil there to deliver goods to Athabasca and goods to Edmonton as well as oil. And we can probably truck that in as needed. And I'm glad we built like a side road here so that way the trucks kind of have a way to queue up and get out of the way of normal traffic. And we'll try to build a uh, small truck stop there and we'll expand upon it as needed. Okay, so we can deliver uh, oil to the chemical plant. Now we need something to deliver wastewater here. That's not too far from the main site. We should have trucks coming in, right? Oh, now I'm feeling that I've incorrectly set something up here. <gasps> Wait a minute. We have to deliver to each one of these little mines instead. Ah, okay. Well, that's not a problem because we'll still need to deliver something here. And we're setting up our economy, so nothing's really totally working until we've actually, uh, well, it's not finished until it's finished, so we'll just change our delivery destination over here. In the meantime, we got all of our other economy set up. Oh, it's prohibited areas. Okay, so that's why I didn't think you could build there from the start. I guess I was right. So we just got to get close, which is kind of weird. How do we get close enough to connect here? got to be connected via road. So how do we do that? How do we get close enough to where we can actually connect? Let's see. Can't build in a prohibited area. And I can't build on these roads because that's too close to the semi-trucks. Or to the uh, to the giant dump trucks. Oh, we have, actually have to connect to it. But it's a prohibited area. Hmm. Streets. Can't connect to the dirt roads. Can't build in the circular area. Hmm. And I can't buy any trucks here, can I? Uh, no, those are the road deep. Those are the road vehicles we owned from owned before. Okay, well, let's try to put down another truck stop then. Let's see if we can get close. All right. Well, this doesn't connect to this area. Well, let me see if I can build a road in there. Nope. We got to deliver those machines somehow. Let's see. Oh, this one allows me to build to it. I can build in that area. But I can't build in that area. Oh, but I can build over here. That's weird. Some areas are prohibited, some are not. Okay. I see then. Well, good thing we tackled that last, because that would have been like a irritating beginning. All right. We'll reorganize the trucks to come over here instead. Once we've delivered the machines, we can keep on pumping in the goods, so that way we can make all that money back from just running those trucks up and down the road. This is the oil business, after all. All right. Well, good. I'm glad we sorted that out. And we'll just adjust the route to go to the other site. We'll still have to pick up and drop off stuff from there, including oil for the local route, so that's fine. So we will just readjust to go up here. There we go. All right, everything else is seemingly connected. Hopefully, if machine if machines pop up, we know we've done it right. So we'll be good to go. So let's see what happens here. Speed up time a little bit. Okay, I'm not seeing any machines. Let's make sure these are properly connected. Highlighted white means we did it right. Ah, there we are. Just needed a little road there to get it to connect. All right, everything should be okay now. Now, what do we do about building materials? Construction materials plant from Athabasca. I could build a rail car to bring that back somewhere. I'm assuming that's gonna have to go to the construction site. So I could truck it up here to a halfway point between the two destinations and then truck it into the construction site. So let's build a road that connects there. 
This is pretty easy. We can just uh, do it this way. Then we can truck it through town. And then build a county road that goes all the way up to this construction... Or rather, this, like, jar... Like, vehicle, vehicle depot or whatever you want to call it. Like a big trucking zone here. So we'll have a road that goes across. And then we'll build a nice bridge. Cool. Excellent. So now we can drop it off at a halfway point, perhaps, for the uh, machine shop or something like that. All right, our machines being loaded. Yes, they are, finally. All right, excellent. Not a bad start. Yeah, thank you. Excellent. Cool. Well, it doesn't matter that we weren't uh, delivering anything. The biggest thing is to connect everything up. So now we've got everything connected except for our wastewater site. And I think we can connect that via uh, the road. So I'm going to speed up time while we wait for those semis to deliver. And we're going to get this uh, final road section built. Looks like a pretty hilly road over here, too. But back onto flat land again. The area near the river is quite uh, rocky on the opposite side of the riverbanks, or, or hilly, I should say. And it looks like we probably should be able to sneak this road here. I'm going to go way far away from it, because we know that yeah, everything's like a prohibited area. So let's do this. Let's build the land flat. And we'll build a highway that goes on the outside of the construction zone and try to connect up over here. Okay, all good. All right, so if we need to deliver wastewater, that's where it goes. We'll also have trucks come out over here so we can... Uh, I wonder if those other trucks haul wastewater. Yeah, they sure do. So the Cascadia tank truck will be used for something like that. Uh, I guess in the meantime, let's go ahead and set up some bus routes. It will be uh, quite apparent that we'll need to deliver passengers at some point for some reason. Uh, obviously, these, uh, just like we did in the uh, Soviet map and just like in the Chinese map, we have to deliver workers to giant work sites like this, and I'm sure this is no exception. That's why they put all these giant cities here in order to connect. I, I, just, I just hope we don't have to connect the cities together. But now we have an oil train ready to go, so that's good. And we should probably build a truck stop down here for those trucks to go to, to drop it off, to transfer the trains. Big problem about having this uh, infrastructure set up and not using it is that we actually can't uh, make any money from it until we've actually uh, started sending things up and down the line. So we'll build a depot at the other side of the line to buy some new trains. Some of our first trains. And we'll see what we've got access to. There we go. <clears throat> we'll make this area look quite nice, I'd say. And then everything else can be via truck. So let's build a depot here, too. Wow, this is really cool. We've got, kind of got this side area to load and unload trucks and also to uh, buy trucks and do a few other things with. So that's kind of cool. Now let's go with the uh, truck depot here, or the uh, vehicle depot. There we go. Train depot. Man. Train. Wow, this hilly terrain, yeah. No kidding. Alright, so we'll go with line one here. We'll add a station of. The Tarasand mining has begun. Excellent. Make sure that the finished product makes it to the global market. Uh, Alright, deliver oil to the refinery to any consumer. Alright. So I'm assuming we can deliver oil from here to here to Fort McMurray. Just a quick little drive across the uh, river. Okay. Let's do that. Line three then. We'll bring oil from the site to the city to start us pretty simply. We'll buy, uh, I don't know, two trucks maybe? Now let's go with three. Go with three road vehicles there on line one. And let's name our line the, uh, let's see... Okay, so now we got our oil train ready to go, and we can bring oil from that as soon as we're done delivering it to the town. And then we, oh, we need to put uh, materials down here. Excellent. All right, and then should be able to deliver it up there. Okay, let's go ahead and continue to connect the towns just in case. We'll build a few bus stops here. I guess it'll make us some money on the side. We might need to transport passengers between cities at some point. All right, let's go ahead and build these here. All right, beautiful. 
And then we can probably build another station here to get all these connected. No, we'll just do that one. We have our one station up there. So let's connect the cities. So we have our first bus route. Looks good. And we'll build our second bus route. I like this music. It's quite charming. Okay, and then our third bus route over here at Fort McMurray. Excellent. And then maybe one going out here, because I bet we're going to have to transport people there at some point. It's just how it goes in this game. Let's go ahead and buy, uh, let's see, ten buses, five for each city on this side. Let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll go with the uh, Volvo 5000. I love clicking it. I love clicking multiple times. I love it. All right, let's go with line uh, one. Line two, and then line three will be over here. I hope that uh, semi is delivering soon. There is oil stacking up there, so these trucks must be loaded. Yep, all right, cool. They can hold 36, so that's pretty good. All right, let's go with the uh, vehicles now for here. Excellent. And line three. Good, all right, all cities are connected for the local bus service. Then we might need to do inner city trains or inner city uh, trucks or something like that. So we'll get that started soon. We'll eventually need a train as well. So we'll figure that out soon. All right, let's decorate a little bit and smooth out the terrain. Make it look a little better. Ever since the Athabasca tar sands were discovered, the community of Fort McMurray has experienced an unprecedented boom. The oil industry is constantly creating new jobs and as a result, provides a livelihood for many, many families. The jobs are well paid and in great demand. People from all over Canada make their way here to settle down. Yay. Your company is offering a unique service to go easy on staff and their cars. The people are brought to their ship by bus. Oh, look at that traffic. Well, good thing we started building buses. I better build another bridge. These two cities are bumping. Transport workers, 10. Transport them to the refinery. Well, we've already got that set up. So hopefully passengers will come out soon. Looks like they're starting to use the bus service. Well, we're not technically in charge of fixing traffic problems. We're an oil company. But I suppose as long as they're using more cars, that means more oil. Excellent. Let's go ahead and make traffic a little better. Let's increase that bridge. And uh, everything else here is going to be a collision. There we go. Traffic will get a little tight in front of the refinery. I can't really modify that road. But at least we can modify these roads. Okay, good. Two lane, both directions, good. Alright, I guarantee we're going to have to start delivering some more oil eventually. And do something with that wastewater. Looks like the two oil trucks are enough to transport the oil. So we don't need much more than that. Eventually, we'll have to transport it via train. I'm assuming also we'll probably be, probably be producing more oil than this. So we'll get that started soon, too. Or we have to take more oil. All right, let's build another road here. Yeah, they wouldn't put it here if we weren't going to use it. All right, so I'm assuming the construction materials are probably going to be used here at the site or at some city nearby. But most things are connected now and ready to go. Let's build a new train line now. Uh, let's see. Tra oh wait, the train is already set up. Good. Yeah, the oil train. Forgot about that. Uh, let's see. So line one, two, and three are for the cities. So we'll just call this one uh, Edmonton Bus Service. And then we have uh, Athabasca. And then Fort McMurray Bus Service. Seems like Fort McMurray requires goods and food, and that's only available down here, so I bet you we're going to have to bring, uh... Oh, damn, it only connects there now? I thought that train... Uh-oh. I thought when we built the depot, it connected to both. It must have changed somehow. Let's try that again. Let me see. Uh, 
Uh, so if I build it here, it, it'll actually connect. Oh, well, I'll move it over just a little bit so that way I can bring in oil and then have one train bringing back uh, food and goods because I guarantee Fort McMurray is going to require that. It's probably going to be a requirement to deliver food and goods to all cities to help them to grow. So let's build another train line. One train can be for the oil, one train can be for the goods, and then we can just truck it back and forth uh, across the river uh, via the semis in order to get it to the depot. All right, good, and we transported the, the workers. Town oh, I knew it. Everything a heart could desire. Food, shopping options, and local public transit. Wow, look at that. Although Traffic. everyone has a car here, an even better transportation offer never does any harm. All right, let's go ahead and try to redo that. So I want to make it so that way the food can be directly delivered to the factories. For some reason, it didn't look like it could, and now it, now it can. Now it's highlighted white. Yeah, so I want to be able to deliver to both these factories. Okay, I guess we're all right now. Strange. Also, these won't be high-speed trains. These are cargo trains, so that makes sense. All right, so now we're going to ship things back and forth via train. Just like we planned. Just like we rehearsed. So let's build one train and stop there. Where's that other rail? Well, I guess one comes out from that side, so we'll put this one here. And this other one here. All right. I'll get this set up, and then we'll uh, go ahead and jump into the next section. All right, boys, here we go. I bought a diesel train and an electric train, the uh, electric train being a little bit more powerful and faster, I believe. So uh, this will be hauling our goods back and forth. That's right. It's going to be hauling our food and goods back to Fort McMurray, and then our train here hauling the oil to those. It's kind of cool how we're exchanging uh, certain things that don't uh, relate because it's, it's like, oh, hey, uh, deliver this thing and, you know, we'll trade you that thing. It's kind of more like trade rather than just like pure money. So this train, train two, will get out onto the line and then switch back. So they're going to both be on their own separate tracks. I wouldn't imagine we need more than one at the moment, especially since one of those trains can haul, I believe, uh, over like 200 oil. Let's see here. 160 oil, pretty close. And the other one can haul uh, about 100 and so something goods. 120 goods. There you go. So pretty well set up now. I also modified the trucks to be uh, bringing the oil here to this depot, so that way we can connect things back. So they should be dropping it off here shortly. We'll uh, see a little bit of oil coming out, but not too much so far. Those Cascadia trucks look good. Oh, good. The oil's being transferred right away and sitting right there on the station. So that's good. All right, so it's just 10 to start with. So just tr uh, just a trickle of oil coming in. And excellent. Look at the trucks. They're picking it up now. They're bringing in a lot more materials. Very good. All right, we'll see that develop here shortly. And we should hopefully see goods come back soon. We'll see if we can send that other train back to wait. We'll send him right back to the other section, so that way he can grab food and uh, goods. And this train should be able to load up. I told him to wait for a while before he's uh, full up. And excellent, he should be full now with, uh, oh darn, only nine. Oh, uh, all right, I'll see you in the next objective. All right, the oil train just dropped off some goods and is on its way back, and the goods train should be here shortly too. So that way it can drop off the required food and also goods. Hopefully it's uh, close enough to where it can actually deliver to some of these locations. Looks like we might need to ship it out via uh, truck. Should be close enough, though, for a few deliveries. But we can also get a local uh, delivery line going, drop off some stuff there. I'll buy a truck to deliver goods. Let's go ahead and do that. Actually, we'll do some uh, local delivery trucks. There we go. And hopefully this counts. Excellent. Environmental protection organizations are protesting against mining the tar sand for oil. Hippies. Which is legitimate, of course. Everyone has the right to freedom of speech and expression. Hold on, Canada. It goes without saying that your company is aware of its responsibility and doing everything in its power to keep harmful impacts to the lowest possible level. You even volunteer to go the extra mile to show that you take environmental issues seriously. I thought this was America. The environmental impacts of mining tar sands for oil are extremely minimal. Nonetheless, and without being called upon to do so, your company has committed itself to take additional measures. I like because how they... responsibility is its guiding principle. I love how they, uh... Like, for example, sometimes it's about profit, sometimes it's about the people. The Canadians are about the environment and doing what's right. In Canada, you'll never survive. 
morals and honor? <laughs> a number of petrified bones were discovered by chance while oh. mining the tar sand oil reserves. Stop work for the time being to find out what it's all about. Okay. Apparently, the bone fragments found deal with a well-preserved dinosaur skeleton. A team of scientists oh. want to take a closer look at it. You have offered your help with the excavation work. Well, I know what dinosaur this is. All right, let's first uh, start with our uh, main the one. The chiefs of the local native clans have criticized mining tar sands for oil in the past. As a token of its goodwill, your company helps to supply the local community with essential goods. Uh, support local community, earn money. Zero out of 10,000. Does that just mean 10,000 in profits? Uh, earn, oh, earn money by transporting goods to... Oh, that's easy. Perfect. We'll just transport them up there via truck. All right, that's done. What next? Let's go over here to the river. Your company monitors closely with regard to any environmental impacts. The healthy fish in the Athabasca River offer proof of the always impeccable readings. How do I catch fish? This specimen presented oh. deviates minimally from the norm. That's completely normal and no cause for alarm. Another animal is supposed to be examined as proof. The readings make it clear that things couldn't be better. The slightly increased levels of some substances lie within the tolerance range. Okay. Uh, let's check the river. Oh, we're, okay, that's all done. Okay, now back to the fossils. The wastewater from oil production is stored in settling basins. They are absolutely leak-proof. But in order to allay even the last fears out there, your company has decided to install additional seals. Hmm. All right, a new line then from the plastic factory to the uh, machine shop up there. I'll have to make a route for that. Um, and that needs oil, so I have to deliver some oil here via truck. So I guess, um, hmm. all right, we'll have to do one goal at a time, otherwise the oil's going to get spread too thin. So what I'll do first is, oh wow, look at all the goods laying out here, perfect. We'll, uh, all right, I'll set all this up. Let's check what our last objective is. There's one more, right? Um, earn money. Oh, okay, so transport good remains and deliver plastic remains. And then dig up the bones and also transport the research team. How do I do that? Transport research team from Fort McMurray to the trans to the dig site. Oh, okay, so we need like a bus stop up there. Okay. All right, I'll get it all done. All right, there we go, boys. We got some good stuff going here. Just need to finish up the plastic delivery. The fossils but we also discovered the fossils. deal with the only completely intact specimen of the genus Borealopelta from the suborder Ankylosauria found until now. Fascinating. Cool, bro. And we got a new train as well, the Sundance Express. Oh, and also a new tram. Good. All right, just need to finish up the plastic delivery. We're at uh, 12 out of 30. Trucks are just coming in now. So we've got one line delivering pla uh, oil for plastic and then one line delivering it to the train. And then we also complete the local economy deliveries for Athabasca. And we've got, wow, we got a lot of stuff sitting here. That train is probably on its way back. There it is now. And 60 out of 60 on that one for capacity. Oh, good. It can take all the food. Excellent. And the train is quite full, actually. Just a few slots, uh, I guess, empty. Wow, okay. Clearly, we need to build a highway here instead of just a county road. The Canadians are really wanting to get moving. So what I think I'll do is uh, keep this road here so we can make local surface level deliveries, but maybe make a highway here if we're ever tasked with doing so. It will slow down our deliveries if we have to go up to Edmonton, so we got to think about actually doing that. Otherwise, we'll be in trouble uh, in terms of everything getting gridlocked. So that's, I guess, why a train is always beneficial, too, because you can bypass all that. All right, more trucks coming in with oil, I hope. Oh, that one's not hauling anything just yet. Ah, oh, there we go. It's first delivery of plastic. Good. All right, that should be done shortly. i got these little trucks hauling it just so we can have more frequent smaller deliveries as where the bigger trucks are perfect for, like, uh, large loads of machines and things like that because those are uh, infinite. They're always just being made no matter what. And they're getting their stuff from other shipments. So let's see if it all comes in here. As long as we see some more trucks pull up uh, over here. This is the plastic delivery site. So let's see if there's anything else. Ah, good. 26 out of 30, and that truck has 
Hopefully some plastic on board. 14. Oh, wow. What a delivery. Despite all your persistent efforts to raise environmental standards, public pressure on the oil industry is on the rise. The company faces a crucial decision. Uh oh It might be advisable to take advantage of the current dynamic and develop new fields of business in the green economy sector. On the other hand, the projections for anticipated earnings in the tar sands business have never been better. Hmm. Invest in expanding the tar sands industry or switch to alternative branches of business. Uh, back to the oil business or switch to the alternatives. Um, well, we are an oil company, so why would we switch? Plus, this is really the only time we've gotten to really do anything with oil. So I'm going to I'm going to stay in the oil business because I think it's just rather interesting to do this. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll save here and see what the differences are. All right, I've looked at the options. The better one just seems to be oil. So let's go for that. The right decision. Just more interesting. The demand for oil hasn't let up. The prices are rocketing, and someone has to take care of extraction and production. What's more, if it weren't for the oil business, the Canadian economy would fall apart. Okay, we're going to make a delivery here now to deliver the machines. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is add another uh, stop here so things don't get a little too busy. Let's go ahead and add a, another depot there, and then let's try to move that route over. Looks like we have another new objective, too. Uh, what is this Fort McMurray Annex? Oh, I want it to go to... Hmm. How do I make it go to the station up there? Uh, let's change that station. There we go. And then go to station number one. Perfect. It'll be out of the way. All right, now, let's go to reforestation. There's no way to get around the fact that parts of the forest have fallen victim to tar sand extraction. Hmm. Naturally, you're going to campaign for suitable compensation measures on behalf of the company. All right. Let's go ahead and accept. What a successful reforestation project. You can't see the forest for all the trees anymore. Uh, pay now to invest in modernization. Oh, okay, that's done. All right, so we just need to deliver the trees. Interesting about the reforestation. It seemed like nothing happened. <laughs> well, whatever. You can see the area where the oil is, too, by the way. But we'll uh, go ahead and plant the trees over that, I think, whenever we're done here. We'll just plant it all again. How's the wastewater transfer going? We're not delivering anything yet, but eventually I'm sure we'll have to. All right, so now we just need to wait for the machines to arrive, and they're still being uh, produced. Oh, yeah, six machines there. And, yeah, we're not completely full, but the semis are a little faster than the regular trucks, and this road here is pretty quick. Luckily, we're building county roads because they're a lot faster. So we're still delivering plastic. We're still in the negative, though, by about a million, but then again, when you're focusing on one industry, it's a little harder to make money. But uh, we should be making tons of money from that oil. Look at that. Beautiful. Four million dollars there. And traffic still looking like hell. We'll get to a highway, I guess, eventually. But I'm going to stay focused on our objectives. It is a campaign, after all. Excellent. There comes some of our machines. Our first machine is here. The second one should be on the way. That'll bring us up to seven. And let's see here. Four more on board. Wait a minute. What happened? There was six machines on there. We dropped off. Did some of our machines disappear? That was weird. All right, anyway. Wait a minute, that one had four. Should be ten now. Despite all the activities towards sealing, some of the basins don't seem to be functioning properly. See to it that the wastewater can be disposed of elsewhere. All right, so now we're going to switch uh, from delivering plastic to wastewater. So let's make a change there. So the plastic line, which was... I made a lot of these lines quick. Uh, let's go ahead and change this one. I think this is the one we want. Yeah, so rather than going to Athabasca Halt, we'll have it go up to the disposal site now. So let's go there. All right, now these trucks should be able to haul that. I believe these it's these small blue trucks. Let's see if that can actually haul it. Let's take a peek here. And it is... No, it's not capable of hauling that dirty water. Okay. Well, we'll send these trucks back to storage them. So let's go with line five. We'll put these ones on hold for now. Send them back to the depot. 
And let's grab... Uh, uh oh. Oh, we should be good now. There was a little crash there, but uh, now we need to secretly dispose of the water. I didn't see that part before. Now we're getting shady. There we go. Now we're an American corporation in Canada. Perfect. 26 out of 36, which means we're just going to dump her on over here. No one will notice. Profits before people, remember. More, much more important than the environment. The shareholders. That's what's important. All right. Let's head out over here. Truck is already on its way. Just need to deliver 10, so that should be good. Long distance to go from this side. So one site we're delivering machines to still. The other one we're still delivering... Oh, wait, look at some of these... Wow, some of these cranes are old as hell. They haven't even updated that in this game. Aw. That'd be nice if, if you were using um, in different time zones and stuff that these uh, dig machines didn't look like they were from the year 2000. Or rather, 1900 versus 2000. It'd be nice if they changed. All right, looks like all the waste... It's interesting in this game. Like, look, we're delivering seven wastewater the map doesn't seem to work out sometimes like where's the rest of the stuff going it takes like a minute or two to register it for whatever reason against all expectations oil prices are falling below the break-even point no in light of the momentary market situation extracting oil from tar sands is simply too expensive it would probably be wise to bet on a different horse okay good decision your company will continue to remain one of the biggest employers in the region except that in future it will be focusing on other fields of business ah uh, so this is the alternative uh route by the way so if, if i chose earlier to just get out of the oil business earlier this is what i guess it extends it then a little bit so okay well let's go ahead and change uh, the delivery from plastic over here uh these guys are just delivering the oil right now so we'll add another truck route then to deliver uh plastics over there and uh, that should connect, right? Yep, and then we can deliver goods into town, which we already have a route set up, so that's perfect. So let's go ahead and just make a truck line here. And we'll just make it go down that away. And perfect. And then we'll just add some more trucks to it. Is that? Yep, that's fine. Okay, so then we'll just buy some trucks. Uh, probably down here. And we'll get the route started. All right, that means we're going to have to fix the bridge, because otherwise it's going to take too long to transport some of that plastic over. So let's go ahead and buy five trucks put it on our new line and then we're gonna have to figure out something to do with the uh, that line too ah yes so it goes all the way from the plastics factory down to the halt so we just need oil delivered in order to do it traffic's not too bad but not great either so I'm gonna add some more routes and see if we can get traffic increased a little bit all right let's do it well, look at that. Traffic cleared up pretty quickly. I added a few new bridges and ways to get across, tunnels and whatnot, uh, under some of the old bridges, and now everything is smoothing, smooth, moving smoothly. Yeah, smoothing, moving smoothly. There Your we go. company wants to set an example as a sign of its realignment. In the future, it will refrain from using fossil fuels within the framework of the local transportation services provided. Deploy only streetcars in local transit system. So does that mean? Now we have to sell all of our buses, or do we only just have to do one tram system? All right, let's get started with that. I'll go ahead and set this up, and actually this is, Edmonton is perfect for an example on this one, because it's a bigger city, so we should be able to build streetcars there easily. So we'll have to upgrade some of the roads too, so let's do that. All right, time to upgrade the streets, trams, okay. So we'll go to each of the bus stops in Edmonton, and now they'll become tram stops. So let's go down this way. Maybe we can add some more stops to the route, too, and make it a little bit more uh, effective. There we go. Ah, good, and we got a new streetcar available. Perfect timing. Uh, looks like a little section across the highway here is not working. Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. Okay. All right, that should be fine for trams. Now, let's add a... Tr uh, let's see, does this cover the tram line for McMurray? No, Edmonton Bus Service there. I think it actually goes that way. Okay, let's try to add some trams to that line and see what happens. Let's add the big O. Let's add two big O trams to the Edmonton Bus Service line and see if that works. Oh, good. Excellent. It can follow the route. So what we need to do then is just sell all the buses everywhere and replace it all with trams. So let's do that. We'll just sell all the buses to start with. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye to the bus services. 
We can get these all rerouted with the uh, trams later. I'm sure we'll have to transport a certain number of people via tram. So let's go ahead and sell all that. That should be goal complete as we have no more buses now. Ford McMurray, Edmonton, okay, that should be good. Deploy only streetcars in the local transit system. Uh, I wonder if that means the other routes just have to have connections too. Okay, so I'll connect all these up and see how we go. All right, all done. All lines are working. Despite compliance with all due diligence obligations and industry standards, something seems to be wrong with the wastewater basins. Try to mitigate the damage and seal the basins as quickly as possible. Uh, deliver construction material to seal the settling basin. Ah, there we are. That's where we need to deliver the construction material to. All right, so like I planned before, we have a halfway point prepped and ready to go. Uh, I think we'll use the machine shop point and then we'll switch that over to uh, to tools or whatnot. Okay, I got a few lines to straighten out, but let's get the first one organized. Uh, we'll have to switch some of these to different cargo based on them changing. So the first one's going to deliver, uh, let's see, let's deliver the construction material to the halfway point here. And we'll get that all stacked up with a couple of trucks. Let's see what trucks we can use for that. Uh, that's the tram depot. Here's our main company down here. Let's go with, uh, let's see, that's construction material. Big semis are going to be needed here. Let's bring, uh, hell, let's do this as fast as possible. Let's bring 10 road vehicles in to do the job on line six. And then we'll bring some vehicles. We already have vehicles transporting machine parts to bring us some extra money, but we're getting out of the oil business, so let's go ahead and reconfigure those to go, instead of hauling machine parts uh, to the uh, main line anymore, let's go ahead and bring them up here to the... Uh, construction area there. Okay, and then let's check line five. Line five is still hauling uh, the uh, wastewater over there secretly, but um, that's not needed anymore. So line five can go, all the vehicles on line five. There's been an error with line... Uh, I've tried to uh, send them to the road vehicle station before. If I do that, sometimes the game crashes, so I'm just going to sell them. But I'm hoping that it'll be sorted out by the time... Uh, In the course out. of ecological mitigation measures, your company has settled countless wild animals in the region. What a shame that hardly anyone was aware of it. The PR department thinks it would make sense to show interested visitors all the animals that apparently feel just fine in the mining area, despite complaints to the contrary from environmental organizations. Oh, well, you told me to delete the buses, now you want buses again. What the hell? The visitors are delighted by the biodiversity, which only found its what? way into the area in the first place thanks to mining the tar sands for oil. I didn't even... Okay. I didn't do nothing, but all right. Okay, the basin still needs to be sealed, so let's check those construction materials. They are getting picked up by a hell of a lot of trucks. I guess when you first spawn them, there's a super big line, but they'll get spread out as they have to fight traffic and stuff. And lots of plastic, too. Who is hauling plastic? Line 2 a lot of plastic and stuff. Let's, let's see if line two is up and running. That's line two there. Who, who do we have on line two? Wow, road vehicles are way behind on this. They must be stuck in the astronomical amount of traffic. How the hell are oil prices lowering if there's all... Wow, where'd all this traffic come from? Must be just because of the one bridge there. That's why we need to build highways. People are coming from uh, Fort McMurray now over to Athabasca on their way to probably Edmonton. Seems like there's a lot of traffic coming. Oh, actually, Athabasca's getting a lot of people coming in. Good. That's going to be hell for our semi-trucks coming back, though. Uh, we might need to upgrade our roads a little bit. So let's go for, uh, let's see, a large county road. Fatten up these roads a little bit. In fact, let's go with extra large, because this, this is some big old, this is big business here. There we go. Let's fatten up those roads. Damn straight. That's a little better than a highway, I guess, because you don't have to lay it out twice. The pain in the neck about a highway is that you have to lay it out twice, one going one direction and one going the other, and it's not as easy as trains. When you lay out a highway, for example, why the heck are you all you goofballs going over here? What? <laughs> There's nothing there. Get on the road. The uh, problem about laying out a highway is that the, uh, it'll try to cannibalize the other sections of the highway, so it'll, like, it'll always try to connect to the highway rather than going parallel with it, and it becomes a little annoying. Build a exit here. Hopefully, people can come on this way. In fact, I could just make this a one-way road if I wanted to come into the town. Let's do that instead. I'll make that a large one-way county road. 
I guess technically they call them country roads or county roads and not highways, but they're technically highways, although this one's going the wrong way. Easily uh, solutioned by right-clicking. There we go. Good. Now traffic can come into the town a little easier and possibly bypass it if they're going down south. So let's make, it, let's make a one-way road that goes down here. And let's fatten up some of these roads now. I fear that we're going to... Oh, here's the highways. I feel like we're going to eventually have to connect these roads with, like, very unlimited uh, flow of traffic. So, oh, is that a two-lane? Oh, looks like we can't fatten that one up. It's too much. Should be able to, though. There we go. Apparently, we can only do it halfway across the bridge. I guess there's an uh, interruption there. All right. Fatten up some more of these roads. There we go. Unfortunately, some parts are a little stuck, but that's fine. It all worked yeah! out again, Woo! after all. You did everything correctly. The catastrophe isn't going to happen. The Canadian economy is growing like never before. Good. And you share the responsibility for that. All right, good. This one wasn't too much of a pain in the neck. This one I enjoyed quite a bit. On to our final mission. Let's get this one up to a ton of likes to, uh, I guess, cheer on for the release of this game as it comes out on December 11th. Go on to the next mission, and I'll see you guys there tomorrow.